The plugin for working with variable data allows you to perform a variety of tasks for generating and substituting variable text, barcodes or bitmaps in a Corel Draw document. In this video, we will prepare a file with a variable number and barcode. For the plugin to work, you need a source Corel Draw file that will serve as a template for data substitution. Let's launch the plugin and create a new working project. The first three tabs in the plugins window are intended for setting the generation parameters. Correctly configured parameters will be marked in green, currently the tabs are red. First, let's add a data generation rule. To do this, in the data tab, click on the plus icon and from the list of available data types, select number. For this field, you can configure several parameters, from which number you need to start numbering, its step, repeats padding with zeros to a certain length and some others. After saving the field it will appear in the list of the first tab, which changed the color to green, it means everything is in order with the data. Now you need to go to the template tab and indicate where in the document we will substitute the data. In our template, select the red text with zeros and click the plus icon in the right corner of the list of objects. In the open parameters, select from the drop-down list the field whose data will be substituted instead of zeros. After saving the object with the bound field in the project, there will be enough data to start generating. Go to the Execute tab, specify the quantity of numbers that need to be created and launch the project. The plugin will form a new Corel Draw document, the master background of which will be the original template, and variable numbers are placed each in a separate page. The finished file can be found in the project folder, which is automatically created next to the source template document. Now you can further improve the project by adding a variable barcode to it. To do this, select a rectangle that indicates the place in the document where the barcode should be. And again, in the template tab, click on the plus icon and select the desired object type. In the barcode parameters, you must specify the field from which the data will be used in it and the type of code. Let's launch the project and on this time in the finished file on each page there will be not only a unique number, but also a code 128 barcode. We can easily change the template. Add new objects or modify those that are already data bound in the project. For example, let's add another number to the template and change the barcode type to QR. The plugin does not impose any restrictions on fonts, colors or geometric parameters of text objects. The finished file will be generated in a few seconds. In the Result tab, you can additionally customize the result of the generation. For example, there you can specify the need to perform automatic layout on paper of the desired size. Setting for the list of paper sizes and other parameters is called by the icon at the bottom right of the status bar of the plug-in window. Now the plugin will not only form the data and substitute it into the template, but also calculate the optimal layout of the finished print run on the printed sheet, add a bleed and trim marks. In just a few seconds, you can get a completely print-ready file. By default, the layout is performed in batches, cut and stack, for easy cutting of finished products.
but you can change this, and perform sequential numbering until the entire page is filled. Using the same approach, it is possible to create projects with a large number of different types of data fields and bind them to various objects, using both single-page or multi-page files as a template. This opens up huge possibilities for fast and convenient generation of variable data in CorelDRAW. Details and other plugins are available at reproscripts.com.